stamper.blogspot.com. Hi beauties! Earlier I showed you how to use the Stampin' Up! envelope punch board to make an envelope and today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little treat holder. This one I did for a baby shower and my friend Jackie Russell actually showed me she came up with this idea and we had made it for some Christmas favors and so let me go ahead and show you what um, how I do it and I'll give you her dimensions as well so very easy you get a four and a half by four and a half sheet of uh, designer series paper you get your envelope punch board and that is not on here so what we're making is not on here you can come up with so many great ideas this was just one she had come up with about uh, for sure five different ideas if not more but um, this one was really cute and so what you're gonna do is you take your four and a half by four and a half and you're gonna put your first line at a half inch okay so just like you're making an envelope you're gonna punch and then you're going to set that in here and score line up just the score line no more measuring remember punch score third time punch and score and then the last time punch and score now you're going to take your corner and round off that corner right then that's it for the envelope punch board you're all done there so we're going to take our paper snips and we're only going to cut off let's see about a half an inch or so you can you can eyeball this but just going to cut it straight across and then save these pieces um, you know I well, you don't have to but I love to we did those um, Christmas favors and I saved all my pieces so stay tuned so you can see what I make um, at a later date so we've got these pieces all done here and all you're going to do is you're going to go along the score lines And basically you're just making a little box for these treat holders but it is so cute so what we did is we took these little um, dove chocolates one of each flavor here and they fit perfectly also the little um, Twix uh, fit in here those little fun size Snickers type bars fit in here really well and all you do is you fold this side fold this over and then you fold this side over. From there, you're gonna take the ribbon that you decide, and I just use the Whisper White uh, Organza ribbon. You cut off about eight inches or so. And once you fold that all up nice, just take your ribbon and tie it. You could glue it if you decide to do that, but just tie it in a knot. Nothing fancy, nothing uh, real hard on this one, unless of course you choose to do so. But this is a quick and easy one, and this one would be good. I did it in the uh, Tangerine Tango, where this one was done for a girl's baby shower in the Melon Mambo. This one's going to be for Halloween giveaways. It's just so cute. So, okay, we've got our ribbon. It can be done like that, but I want to add a little bit. Um, so I'm taking my Tangerine Tango that coordinates, and then I'm going to use my 4U stamp from the round array. Okay, very easy. Just take it. Got my uh, Whisper White scraps here. I'll just go ahead and uh, stamp that and I take my 7 8 inch quarter punch uh, scallop circle and we're gonna, just going to punch that out line it up punch that out get my stamp and dimensional 
go ahead and stick that right on here. Is that cute? And I'm just going to go ahead. I made this a little long just so I could tie the ribbon quick and easy. And then cut that down to size. I can keep it long that way or I can twist it to go the other way, but I think that's cute. So there you go. There's this one for Halloween. And here's this one for the baby shower. And then the uh, Christmas favors, those will be at the Holiday Extravaganza for We Stamp. If you're signed up for it, we'll see you there. Alrighty, great. Thank you for joining me, beauties. Visit me at beautyandthestamper.com to order any of the uh, items that I used here today. Have a great day. Bye. For more tips and techniques, visit beautyandthestamper.blogspot.com.